Greetings, earthlings, wisdom keepers, wisdom seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. Meow. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing how to not block your miracles of receiving gifts during this time. And what do I mean by that? I'm saying don't block somebody else's ability to give you something that is surprising and good. And I'm bringing this to your attention because of the Scorpio full moon. If you look, there's a Venus Uranus conjunction happening here. And I just did a video overviewing all of this energy, but today we're talking about specifically this conjunction that's happening uh, at the time of this lunation. So like Venus is value, right? And Uranus is surprises. And so I'm going to talk a little bit more about this, especially as it relates to the sign of Taurus. But before I do, if you're new to the channel and vibe, you can subscribe as we are continuing to build the tribe. Also, if you are looking to actually learn astrology for yourself uh, once and for all and actually have that skill to move forward with throughout all of your life, all of your Jedi moves, go ahead and schedule a consultation call with me if you resonate with my style and you want to partake in the upcoming course happening starting the end of May. Uh, so we're just a few weeks away from launch. If you think about it, we are enrolling amazing people. I'm very excited for this round. Uh, it's going to be 26 weeks long of live interactive coaching in a group setting. And a lot of it's just really fun. A lot of games. You can watch what my students say on their own experience uh, by watching a video linked somewhere up above. Cool. So, you know, Oh, and thank you everybody who supports this channel. All the likes and the comments about like your experiences and so forth. I just really appreciate it. So anyway, you know, this Uranus Venus conjunction is going to be illuminating, especially being in the sign of Taurus right now for us, the value, you know, like Venus rules Taurus, right? And so she's in her own sign. And when you think about that and the fact that she's conjunct Uranus, this is going to mean, you know, uh, sudden surprise in relationship to value what are people giving you right now that is catching you by surprise and how are you reacting to that you know this is all square saturn are you denying the good are you denying the potential uh gift uranus venus conjunction square and i think the solution to everything right now is to give things time and why do i say that because look saturn is you see this big red triangle in the heavens Saturn is at the top of that, and it's saying, hey, give it time. Give the situation time and to see if this surprising Uranus value Neptune in Taurus, the sign of value, the rooted value, is going to manifest. Give it time to see if that's going to come about. Give it time to see, you know, what's the, the truth of this matter? Because Uranus has an ominous reputation for being a bit sporadic and it's not necessarily associated with longevity. But when you go ahead and consider that Saturn, Father Time, Kronos, you know what I'm saying, is square, that Uranus, uh, it's really implying that there's gonna be uh, some new novel Uranus opportunity around value, Venus, that has the opportunity to grow strong in time but if you meet somebody like out of nowhere um this is not the best energy it's probably not going to last to be honest because anytime you have venus conjunct uranus even if there's a saturn thing here this isn't something you would want to see for like the beginning of a relationship but what i'm specifically telling you not to do is to block like any surprising abundance that may come your way a lot of astrologers have already heard talk about this uranus venus conjunction have been portraying it as an exclusively negative manifestation and i just don't believe that that's the case um, I think the Saturn square implies that any new beginning that happens now is going to have a lot of karma associated to it um, and a lot of work associated to it because Saturn is square this conjunction, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be an inherently bad or negative experience of this energy. It depends on how you meet it, though, and it depends on what it is. So um, like I'm saying, Uranus and Venus conjunct is never really a, a beneficial time, really, to have a new relationship come about. Because again, Uranus is very ephemeral, unless it's what you're looking for. You know, this is a, a good time for those sorts of maybe more um, spontaneous events. However, as I was mentioning in another video on this topic, uh, don't be doing anything that contracts you long-term results like, say, a pregnancy or an STD, because Saturn is the god of karma and fate, and so he can come in and quickly correct 
any um, spontaneously pleasurable actions you might choose to take that you then regret because you know the moon is over here later um you know and it's it's reminding us like scorpio is all about death and rebirth as well as like leveling up oneself so yeah it's definitely called like level up yourself and and again don't block because the moon is a bit of the self indicator here don't and also like the sun is the perpetual self right so like right now there's like this value based conjunction because it's it's venus so it's value based right but it's in the earth sign taurus so there's this value based spontaneous opportunity for wealth or opportunity something of value okay it could be emotional value it doesn't have to be monetary value but like there's an opportunity for value and Scorpio is always about other people's investments, other people's resources, other people's belongings, other people's finances, okay, other people's energy. Scorpio is a sign that conducts energy and energy takes many forms. And so like this is the relationship axis, right? Any full moon is always going to be opposing each other. Um, you know, it's literally the full moon, but there's still a first house, seventh house thing here, especially with Venus's in engagement and that Venus is in her own sign of Taurus. So I would just pay attention to that. Make sure you're aware that like people might be taking you by surprise and they, they might give you more value than you initially expected. So don't block, like I had an experience today that just made me reflect on this. Don't block somebody's opportunity to gift to you. Don't block somebody's opportunity to be a benefic to you. Don't block somebody's opportunity opportunity to give and be generous where you might be needing that support where you might be needing the support you know um this is the spontaneous gift and if you block it with your naysaying with your negativity with your belief systems you might never know what would have come through you know you never allowed them to surprise you with their opportunity with their gift and i just feel like you know we need to set our receivers to receive um surprising gifts and not just fall into all these negative portrayals um which isn't to say they aren't real and that's why i've cautioned you against maybe taking some more spontaneous action based in pleasure that can have long-term consequences you see but um anyway i could always go on forever if this video brought you any value whatsoever go ahead and hit the like button because it helps the channel grow thank you to everybody for all the support i've been enjoying the enrollment calls so if you have um, you know, if you want to learn astrology, your hardcore series about it, it's there if you are. So when you are. <laughs> with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.